So I'm hearing words, I'm hearing rotation, I'm hearing full from, I'm hearing tilting of the denture. You're producing retention by impeding the... Sorry, I just, <laughs> I'm trying to brace myself. <laughs> About what? About a full from, like, set up away. That's fine. That's a problem. Indirect retention prevents the movement of the distal extension denture base. Right? Prevents the movement of the distal extension denture base. What type of movement? The rotational movement of the distal extension denture base. <coughs> Rotation about what? About a fulcrum line. About a fulcrum line set up width between rests on opposite sides of the arch. Take a step back. Indirect retention prevents rotational movement of the distal extension denture base. If it's rotating so away from the tissues, obviously, away from the tissues, about a fulcrum line set up between rests on opposite sides of the arch and is provided by a form of support, not a form of retention by a form of support acting opposite to the path of rotation. You get yeah, I get in the door. Simple. So let's go through that. Indirect retention. Indirect retention 
prevents rotational movement of the distal extension dentia base. Which is the distal extension dentia base? The prehensile. Yeah. Prevent rotation of that. Rotational movement of, of that. About what? A fulcrum line. Set up where? Between rests on opposite sides of the arch. The only place that's going to happen is either here mm -hmm. or here. But that's why it's really there. Two possible fulcrum situations. There and there. Most likely rotation is going to be about that. Right? So it prevents rotation <coughs> about that. It prevents rotation of this about that fulcrum line set up between there and there by providing support on the opposite side of that. And that is best provided somewhere on this side acting across from the denture base. Right? Because this is acting through a sort of lever action, a lever action. Lever, lever, lever. Lever, lever, whatever you want to call it, right? That's it there, that's your CSO. This is your fulcrum. This is what is moving and rotating about there. And if it's supported across there, it's not going to move. Making sense? Mm -hmm. Make it sense? Yes, Therefore, I will provide support. I have two teeth on that side that I can use to provide support. Which one will I use? <coughs> I will use the cane edge because it's longer and stronger and you don't use a lateral incisor for support, if possible. In fact, unless you're using a plate system across multiple incisors, stay away from support on an incisor, please. If I had a easier rest there, Would I bother to put you in direct retention? I don't absolutely need to because that rest is already acting in a position provided the arch form allows that to happen. If it's a broad arch and it's not happening or a very narrow arch and it's not happening, you will have to figure that out based on your clinical situation, right? But the general idea would be that on this particular view, I would put indirect retention on the canine on that side and I would do so by means of a single rest. And notice that I don't just drop a single rest as I am going to be. Mm -hmm. I want it fully colored because I want metal covering all of the singular <laughs> plateau. This single is going to be all already given. They are making no sense. And they are just practically all single is going to be. With a little space in the middle. Flat track. Cover the entire surface. Do I need indirect retention on this side? No, Not because I have two sets of class pulling this into position. Mm -hmm. So I don't need a direct retention on that side. If it comes class one, you would put it there? If it were a bilateral tree and sand, by one we would yes. If this tooth was not present and I was doing that, because class one with this tooth present, everything makes sense, because I still have retention. If it were a bilateral, would tall this tooth present? Yes. Because I would have another fulcrum line set up somewhere about here, acting in that direction. Making sense? So for this particular clinical situation, I don't 